This is Paul Sinclair with X Factory RC, and we are here with Kurt Schleister of the Ohio RC Factory. You are the owner, operator, track maintenance, trash collector. You are pretty much everything here, right? Yep. Pretty how long much you been? How long you been doing the Ohio RC Factory? Here? Um, this July will be our sixth year. Sixth year? Yeah. Start so of the sixth. Yes. The, yeah, okay. The start That's of awesome. Our sixth, yeah. So yeah. this is our fifth winter Midwest here. Something I want to commend you on personally. This is not X Factory or anything else, but like every time I feel like I come here, you've improved something. Um, and it has been just tremendous to see over those six years, you know, just how well you've transformed this place from putting in the outdoor track to redoing the lights and the paint. It has truly become one of the best places to race here in the Midwest. So I thank you. I just, I'm just an ex-racer from here in Ohio and just always wanted to have yeah. a great place and just like putting the effort forward and like seeing the smiles on people's faces when they see the improvement. I just like, right. like doing it. I like the fun of it. So. Cool. Cool. Uh, we were talking before the video, actually, about how, as you've gotten older, you've gotten a little less competitive, but you've turned more of your focus to the track. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm 48 now. I've lost a little bit of my edge. Uh -huh. um, still, he I, says that he's fourth in the stock resort right now, uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm still very competitive. Right. Okay. I still, we all are. Yeah, I, I get to practice a lot. It, uh -huh. is, it is my home track. I know what tires to run when. Right. So... It's a little bit different, but it's just my competition, my traveling. I don't get out as much. It's more driven towards the track. Mm -hmm. I try to compete with myself, you know, other tracks coming around just to make the place better right. and better and uh, just improve. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, it creates a better racing for yeah, everybody. I, this you know? year, our big focus has been race program. Uh -huh. And I'm just trying to run the best, fastest race program and get people in and out of here. And it seems to, entries have come up. They like it. Right, it's right. Really, well, really it's, work. You know, that's, I think the number one complaint, it, you know, from track to track to track is not the track or the tires or, or the layout or anything. It's why is it taking so long, right? And, right. yeah, if you can move people in a timely manner, that pays off. Yeah, we've put a number on uh, our club races to this. Uh -huh. If we go over that, we change the program. And, right. And it's, that's that. There's no question. So. Awesome. So tell me about the dirt we got here. Um, the dirt is something that was just at, at my parents' home in, a, in yeah. a field behind the house, or it used to be a creek bottom that was woods. Uh -huh. um, so is it clay or topsoil or it's like peat moss? It's kind of just a silt type thing uh -huh. that's out of that creek bottom. Used to be kind of a thicket type. So right. it has a lot of organic matter in it. So it's it's not you can't duplicate it. I don't think. Right. It's right. It's the runoff. It's of, so local. Yeah. It's the uh -huh. runoff of. I'm just lucky to have it. Right. Right. Yeah. It makes this awesome racing surface. So how do you prep it though? Um, I, how do I you do, build it? How do you prep? I it? I do everything with the bobcat. Okay. And then. I can get a bobcat, get it pretty close with the bobcat, and just really want to get rid of the cleat marks. Uh huh. And uh, I, I do it with a, a black top roller. Okay. I like my surface to be very, very hard so that it doesn't give because we run A scales and a lot of cars through here for right, weekly right. practice and things. So it just doesn't change. Yeah, we were looking at the lap totals just from practice at this uh, yeah, it's CR, CRC midwinter. It's incredible. Um, you know, I had a question and I just lost it. <laughs> Moving on, though. The. the the hard pack surface, um, would you say it's more like grippy? Like, what do you shoot for? Is it more grippy or more like it's, friction? Bit, so, or, you if, know? if I keep it very wet, uh -huh. it's almost slicks, right. but it develops a small fuzz, which mm -hmm. makes us go to a ghost pin. I do not want to be on a ghost pin. I'd rather just be able to go mount new tires. Right. So right. I get it. Are Again, it's for the racers. Slicks are new tires. Mm -hmm. um, I got gotcha. you. And... So I'd rather just have a new pin. So we've started going more a little bit to the drier side, uh -huh. um, you know, with the tires and the racing that we have. Everybody runs all this tire dope. It's right. It gets crazy. It's, it's an oil based product. So I just let that kind of oil seal the track. Mm -hmm. I, my dirt likes it. It doesn't right. like, keep it from taking water because it gets the small cracks in it. Mm -hmm. And it. Uh, the drier surface just becomes very consistent. And I think that's looks that's like one of the great things about this race is like the track does change and you have to stay on top of it, but the times seem to be very consistent. Right. You know, race one to race thirty-five. Like it doesn't matter where you are. You know, and I'm competing against nine other heats at two-wheel mod. I, I've never heard a single complaint about like, oh, he had a better track than I did. 
Yeah, it, I mean, it, it just stays that smooth, consistent. You know, the day. this morning the track was a good bit different than it is this evening uh -huh. in appearance. Um, but the lap times, grip level. <coughs> yeah. Uh -huh. But you watch the lap times this morning. I think Dakota Finn's fastest lap was two tenths off. Right. So right. you come in on a wetter track, a little bit greasy. We had mm -hmm. a little drippy thing from some condensation and yeah. stuff. So yeah. I'm mopping and but and the, but the track still. Uh huh. Takes it and the, the, it's able to turn awesome. about the same time. So, so tell me, uh, we noticed this during the track walk, and I've noticed this from racing here a couple of years. You've been doing these uh, these little, what are those? Spade dash, marks, dash dashes. marks, the sunburst pattern. Whatever. Where'd you come up with that idea? It's um, I don't know. It's the cracking. So like the corners that have the most amount of cracks. Uh huh. Have the least amount of dust. Right, that's kind of what you noticed. Yeah, right. So that gives, like, apparently the dust has somewhere to go. Okay. So I just started taking some of the heavier, dusty corners a weekend and made these hash marks. Uh huh. Just from the apex out. Yeah, and it gave somewhere for the dust to go. Those right. corners, it took us a longer period of time before we had to blow them off. Mm -hmm. And when you did blow them off, you, you could watch the dust come up Fly out, out of the, they were basically out of the hash filled mark. in. Right. So, okay. Uh, so it's just a dust control mechanism. Yeah. I mean, as we started the weekend, I put none in the track uh -huh. as the track progressed because they just kind of fill in and go away. Right. Um, as the track progressed, the more I put. So last night I, I just keep adding them. If and mm -hmm. today the track was, I, the track was not dusty. Now we ran blowers and some things. Right. It wasn't. Yeah. No, it wasn't crazy. It yeah. wasn't like everyone had to blow each yeah, heat, which was, is really nice. Yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about the layout for a minute. You're a track builder. You've been building tracks for what, 15 years? Right? I remember you were building them at the old CRCRC yeah, CRC club, club building. Club yeah, building. Is that when 15. you started? Yeah. Okay. What's your, what's your favorite feature, or as you've watched people run on this track, what's your favorite part or section of the track? You know, what are you enjoying watching the most? I mean, probably for me to drive, and uh -huh. what I seem to like to watch the most is right. coming around, hitting that triple, the height off of that triple, and the... The, the clearance the, the it seems speed. to be the perfect length yeah this little speed burst they get off the back side of it and right then the roller roller off camber do that onto the straightaway <laughs> onto the right. straightaway i called it the ups and downs when we were doing the track yeah, walk because it's, uh, it's unique but it's it it really as a driver i like that part too yeah i mean if you <clears throat> take the chance and send it through there man you can gain a lot of time but right you don't have to do it you, you can roll through there and, don't and be just up. fine. Yeah. Or you can scrub all the speed and, and get all crazy, and you might wreck, but you might save but two you gain a, But you gain a lot. Of right, time. right. What's, what's the most unexpected feature as you've watched people well, you this know, weekend? We have a huge tabletop. The right. The tabletop's 20, 22 feet. Uh-huh. And it's got a little bit of a bad face. We right, talked yeah, we talked that. in the track walk yeah. about that, that kind of crown knew, in the center. I knew that that was going to scrub a little bit of speed. It's just a tabletop. It's not like some double that we, it's a tabletop. Right. So the bad takeoff was meant, not meant, but didn't bother me so bad because we have this. The two rollers. The two rollers. Which are very much rollers. Look like rollers. Uh-huh. So it was going to save, help them go through there and keep that tight, but man, they're, it's right. The when the first car cleared that double, what did you think? Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Crap not, because not what I you were knew intending. the issue because right. we are coming basically at the straightaway. Cars tumble, end up on the straightaway. Now it's mm -hmm. you're in the bad situation for right, total right. chaos. Right. So we've double tubed this section of the track. It's it was much more controlled today, the first day of qualifying. It's a whole lot. Yeah. 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 Some of the four so. wheels get out of control. Right, right. Yeah. Some guys don't. Anything else you want to talk about, Kurt? I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. You have this interesting tool in your hand. Yeah, as we this talked your about these. Tool? That's, yeah, right. This is my favorite tool. I use it for uh -huh. everything. Um, as we talked about these dash marks, the tip right. of a typical spade bar, I drop that. It's a very heavy thing, so uh -huh. you just drop it and make the dash. How deep are the hashes? Like, I mean, it's a yeah, quarter inch. Right, they're so not the very deep. The softer the camera. dirt is, I mean, I'm just basically um, just dropping this thing. So, right. You know, the softer okay. the dirt is, um, the deeper it goes uh -huh. in. So in some of the hard places, I have to kind of bang it. Right. Um, in the soft places, I got to almost not <laughs> drop it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So. What's on the other end of the tool? Well, it's just a round, about three two inch, and a half, three, three yeah. inches in diameter, and it makes for a great, you know, if you've got a high spot in the track, you can really hammer it down. Right. Um, and it's, you know, spud bar weighs 20 pounds, so it's not 
You're not putting a lot of force into it. You just I lift it up and let it do. I don't have to slam something. I right. can pick it up and right. drop it. So it's a lot easier on a 48-year-old man. <laughs> I've learned to make things easy building tracks. I hear so. you. I hear you. So. Well, Kurt, uh, one last thing. I'd like to – you recently got married, and I'd yeah. like to say congratulations, sir. Yeah. And same to you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Right there. Uh -huh. She just but showed mine's up, Mine's right? going to show up tomorrow, so you guys – I don't. you haven't met my wife, I don't think. Yeah, yet. I don't think I have. Yeah, so but, uh, she's going to show up tomorrow for us. Uh -huh. She's got a little bit of a sinus infection, so uh, she's okay. going to stay away a little yeah. bit. But, um, well, I'll look forward to meeting her, Kurt. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah. I really appreciate Again, it. Great Donald. track, great Thanks. facility. Chaz behind the camera. Yeah, all right.